to it. Let me make sure I'm on. <sighs> yes, I know. It's like Robin Williams, basically, and like fucking the start of uh, Mrs. Doubtfire up in here. You know what I'm saying? And he's like really upset with the fucking scripts because he does not want the fucking bird to be, you know, professing to like smoking. Not a good image. So the dishes in the dishwasher are dirty? Hell yeah, they're dirty. They're ready for you to dirty them up even more. Anyway, so here it is. Some guys wear crosses. Or stars, David. Some carry rabbit feet. One dude has the key to his girlfriend's bicycle lock. Another guy has an ace of spades that won him a big hand of poker that night before he shipped out. I have grandpa's class ring from Harvard, which I don't advertise because the guy's my thing. I'm trying to boast about my pedigree. But what I guess I'm trying to tell you is that the guys carry things they have, think have magic powers. <laughs> or things that remind them why they might like to stay alive. There are a few of us who have proven to be natural born survivors. Which is good because our company has been dropped right into the action. I've made two real friends here in Charlie Company. Frog and Puppy. Probably yeah, they all had nicknames. Properly Francis and John. The other guys call us the zoo. Because we all have... Animal nicknames, but they're jealous of how tough we are. <laughs> the three of us have stupid contests. Like, who can do the most pull-ups in a tree match? Or, who can learn the most curse words in Vietnamese? And who can smoke an entire cigarette without taking the damn thing out of his mouth the fastest? Frog is a Negro. Gasp. What would Noni think? <laughs> From Mississippi. He is. And Puppy, he is a blonde and pale. He's nearly albino. We should have called him Casper a Ghost, but those nicknames were already taken by other guys in our regiment, and since he's the youngest in the platoon, he's Puppy. Puppy is from Linden, Washington, all the way up to the Canadian border, Raspberry Country. He says, bushes as far as you can see, all of them growing fat, juicy raspberries. Puppy misses those raspberries, and Frog misses his mama's vinegar coleslaw, and I miss Brigham's butter brickle. So we are a mixed bag cross-section of our country, if you will. I love these guys with all my heart, even though I've known them only a few weeks. The three of us feel invincible. We feel strong. You're messy. I hate to say it, but I know I'm the strongest of the three of us. At first, I thought this was because of the coach. Bavilikwa. <laughs> coach Bavilikwa. <clears throat> Making the team to do so many wines sprints and climb all the stairs in the stadium but only makes you tough on the outside and to survive here you also have to have be a tough on the inside that's true too when it's your turn to take point when you're in charging position you have to be brave and i mean brave because chances are you're gonna be the first one to encounter charlie if you meet up with enemy fire you're taking the bullet the first time i led my company we were headed down the jungle path the mosquitoes were roaring like lions it was the dead of night and a group of vc sneaked up behind us and slit the throat of richie who was bringing up the rear we engaged in a firefight and a couple of us, others were shot acosta and celts i mined it out with nothing but two dozen mosquito bites I hear other units have gotten strings to come in and help them deal all the way this stuff messes up your head. When we go out on a mission, it's almost certain that at least one of us is going to die. Which one of us is going to get question of luck? Like which ducks are going to hit with your water pistol in a carnival game? Pretty much. When I was teaching kids to drive in Brookline, I knew the war was going on. I watched on TV with you and Mom and Dad. I heard the body counts, but that didn't feel real. Now I'm here and it's too real. Every day requires fortitude, which wasn't a word I knew the definition of until I got here. At night, when I'm on watch or trying to fall asleep while also trying to stay awake and alert, I wonder who in the family I'm most like, whose DNA is going to keep me alive. At first, I thought it would be Grant's because he was a successful banker, or my father's because he was a lieutenant in Korea, but then you know what I realized? The toughest person in our family is Nani! She's probably the toughest person in the entire world. I'd put a grandmother up against any Fiat Cong or any one of the commanding officers. You know that way she looks at you when you're disappointed or like you're not good enough to lick her shoe? When she <laughs> uses that little voice and says, What am I to think of you now, Richard? Yes, I know you know. And that's why you're dreading going to Nantucket. So if it helps you be less miserable, remember that the qualities of naughty that you're making unhappy are also the qualities that are keeping your favorite brother alive. I love you. Miss. Happy birthday. Peace.
what, page 20. That was only, that was, that was page 20. That was page 19. That was a good 19. That was a, that was a one nine. Hell yeah, hell of a time. Suck it to me, suck it to me one more time. I want to get loud. Are you good? Dope. Oh, wow. To the sweat drop on my balls. No, bitches cry. No, ski, ski, motherfucker. Oh, ski, ski. Go cook me some bacon, please. Uh, <laughs> God, that was priceless. Are you crying, dear? Mm -hmm.